50 years ago this weekend, ITV viewers in the Midlands got to see programmes in colour for the first time. An event at Birmingham City University has been showcasing some of the technology that made it happen. Andy Bevan reports. Overnight, television went from boring black and white to captivating colour. And TV heritage group Kaleidoscope have been celebrating this media milestone with a display of equipment that helped to transform our viewing. Now we get used to technology changing so often, you know, 4K becomes 6K becomes 7K virtually every other year. But then it took 20 years for it to happen, so it was a big, big thing. For ITV, the mastermind of the switch over to colour was its director of engineering, the late Howard Steele, seen here in an internal video message to staff on the big day itself. Amongst the audience of TV history enthusiasts watching this for the first time are Howard's widow and son. Very proud and pleased to see it happen. It's, uh, I think, as he always said, people take it for granted and um, I think, don't think people quite realise what went on behind the scenes. Parked round the back of the venue is Big Bertha, one of the UK's first colour outside broadcast trucks, carefully restored to its original spec by the Broadcast Engineering Conservation Group. The engineering skills that went into the British colour cameras of the period, we were leaders at the time, and those engineers' memories and skills are now being lost. Back in the theatre, colourful recollections from a veteran Blue Peter presenter, known to this audience half a century earlier for Petra, pullovers and sticky back plastic. John Noakes and I used to make jokes about, you know, are we going to get paid more? We're in colour. Uh, but everything was going into colour. It was important that we were in colour because black and white suddenly looked terribly primitive. Something that today's HD multimedia generation must find hard to comprehend. We've come a long way in 50 years. Andy Bevan, ITV News.